Why have human beings gone through this struggle since the very beginning? Were there not already highly developed civilizations living on this earth, and yet their consciousness got lost and man had to start all over again? Right now, it seems to be a particularly dark period. Is there such a cosmic law that says only out of the mud the lotus can grow? And will this earth ever become a garden of flowers in deep gratitude and love? प्रेम जलधारा The question that you have asked has tremendous implications in it. First There have been many civilizations before our civilization who have reached even to higher peaks. But they all destroyed themselves because all those civilizations including ours have been growing in a deep imbalance They developed great technologies but they forgot that even the greatest technological progress is not going to make men more blissful, more peaceful more loving, more compassionate. Man's consciousness has not grown with the same pace as his scientific progress and that has been the cause of all the old civilizations destroying themselves. There was no outer cause, no outer enemy. The enemy was within man. He created monsters As far as machines are concerned, but he himself remained very retarded, unconscious, almost asleep. And it is very dangerous. to give so much power to unconscious people. The same is happening today.
polit politicians are the lowest kind as far as consciousness is concerned they are clever they are cunning they are mean to and they make every effort for a single goal how to be more powerful their only desire is for more power not for more peace not for more being not for more truth not for more love and what do you need more power for to dominate others to destroy others and in the hands of unconscious people accumulates all the power a single crazy man a single politician to show his power can destroy the whole civilization and you have to begin from the abc and the destructive is not only of humanity with humanity die all the companions of humanity the animals the trees the birds the flowers everything disappears everything that is alive but the reason is an imbalance in our evolution we go on developing scientific technology without bothering at all that our consciousness should also evolve in the same proportion in fact our consciousness should be a little ahead than our technological progress if our consciousness is in the state of enlightenment in the hands of gautam buddha nuclear weapons are no more dangerous in the hands of gautam buddha nuclear weapons will be turned into some creative force because force is always neutral either you can destroy by it or you can find ways to create something but right now our powers are great and our humanity is very small as if we have given in the hands of children bombs to play
you are asking why have human beings gone through this struggle since the very beginning the imbalance between the inner and the outer the outer is easier and the outer is objective for example one man alva thomas edison creates electricity and the whole humanity uses it there is no need for everyone to discover it again and again the inner growth is a totally different phenomenon a gautam buddha may become enlightened but that does not mean that everybody else becomes enlightened each individual has to find the truth by himself so whatsoever happens on the outside goes on accumulating piling up all scientific progress goes on piling up each scientist is standing on the shoulders of other scientists but the evolution of consciousness does not follow the same law each individual has to discover it by himself he cannot stand upon the shoulders of somebody else 